Yo, welcome back to another video, guys. Uh, so a lot has happened since the incident in Genosha. And uh, let me just give you like a quick recap of the past three episodes and then I'll share my thoughts on like how, um, what I thought about them. So in episode six, Life Death Part Two, right as the Genosha incident went down, Forge was poisoned by the adversary, the demon vulture uh, from episode four, or was it three? No, I think four. And uh, he temporarily, Forge temporarily expels a demon with this like book of magic. And uh, yeah, which I thought was kind of strange because I was not expecting him to know magic. Uh, and I don't, I thought it was a bit convenient to the story, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. And then um, yeah, he expels the demon and then he tells Storm about a cactus that can cure him of the poison. And Forge basically overcomes her claustrophobia and gets her powers back after uh, exploring this cave. And then she sees the adversary again, and then she realizes that. I guess she just has to believe in herself <laughs> and then that's how she gets her powers back and um yeah i also thought that was a bit too easy because they, there could have been a way i don't know i think they could have went about it a different way um because yeah it just felt like a little bit too easy in one episode or in like less than 30 minutes and then meanwhile while that episode is going on um it, it's revealed that charles xavier is actually alive and he is on some other planet in another galaxy or something and he is married to or engaged to the shi'ar empress named lalandra and lalandra's sister does not approve of their her marriage to a human or her engagement to a human and she invokes this like rite of passage or something and she wants charles to remove all memories of his life on earth and the x-men to prove his loyalty and he disagrees and then he takes them to the astral plane to like school them on coexistence and uh that kind of doesn't go the way he planned because he starts to get visions of the incident at genosha and gambit dying and then he decides to want want to go back to earth after that and then that's basically where the episode ends um mainly though storm storyline was a bit conflicting with what was happening on the shiar planet with charles because um, I haven't finished the OG series, but I thought that Charles coming back was a bit of a step back in um, momentum because, to my knowledge, he thought he died at the end of the series of because I knew that he had died and I thought he stayed dead. So I thought he died at the end of the OG series and he just comes back. And I thought that the show was going to be about the X-Men, you know, continuing continuing on as heroes after Charles passing and then Cyclops filling that role of what Professor Charles was before. But I am curious to see how they're gonna include him in the story and, you know, oncoming seasons as well because yeah, I mean you wanna have something for every character to do, I think, because you don't want it to get to a point where characters are beginning to be sidelined in the story. So I do wonder how they're gonna include him because I thought that Cyclops was taking on the role of what Professor Charles was in the OG series. And then Sinister returns yet again, and uh, he hints at him having something to do with what happened at Genosha, and then the episode ends. So yeah, I thought this was one of the weaker episodes of the whole show so far, but definitely better than the one from episode four, the one with um, Jubilee in Sunspot, and Matendo the Dame, yeah, that was like the worst episode so far. So yeah, uh, I'll give us like a 7.5 to like an 8 out of 10. But yeah, peace.